now. We pull the airbox. Okay. Top of the air box off. Let's see what our filter looks like. Perfectly clean. All right, there's the front trumpet. Okay, now we have to remove these intake horns. And they kind of just pop right out. All right, now we've got two more things to get off there before we can get it out. So we've got one little breather right there and one little breather right there. And those are both held on with uh, spring clips. So we'll get those pulled out. I, I don't think you'll be able to see them down in there, but they're, uh, yeah, they're held on to the bottom right there. And then this, Hopefully you can see it. There's two screws right there. That holds a little fork thing um, that goes down and goes into a rubber grommet on either side of the solenoid that we're gonna be removing. So that'll just pop out. So we gotta remove those two spring clips and then we should be able to just pop that air box right out of there. There we go. Cool. And that's, so that's what I was talking about. That little solenoid right there is what was hooked into either side of that. And we've got that little breather hose going to it and that little breather going down to the side of the motor. Um, oh, very, very important apparently. Don't lose <laughs> your gaskets. That would not have been good. So those go, these two go on the bottom of the uh, air box right there. Very important you don't lose those. Okay. okay, so now that we've got this all, all taken apart, uh, I'm gonna go through and pull the charcoal can out of the back here, uh, trace those hoses all the way up to the front to that uh, solenoid right there. We'll yank that off of there and I'll replace uh, the block off plates on the side with our, our Rottweiler ones. And we'll just get the um, emissions crap out of the way right now since we're in here. Um, yeah, get the emissions stuff done. All right, so the first of those hoses goes to this little valve right here. And we're gonna unplug that and use that supplied plug. And then we'll just put that right back where or maybe not. Nope, apparently not. Okay, so I have to find a different way to mount that, but here we go. Got that plug there. Now we continue fishing. This plug right here, take this apart, and then on this, this is where 
this other dongle goes. So that goes on there like that. And we'll clip that to the frame in a second. And that's basically what powers this, uh, uh, this servo right here. Um, okay. Now, we're going to take off, <clears throat> or we'll finish getting rid of this, this Y pipe hose, or this Y hose right here. So this comes, continues all the way out right here. So now we'll pull off those, uh, those plates right there and get those out of the way. There we go. Cool. All right. Get that off of there. <clears throat> so now, there should be everything out of there. Look how much more room for activities we have in there, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So, continuing on. Uh, remember the bottom we had This little short piece right here ran to here. So we'll put a new, this little catch can on there. And then we'll get that set with a spring, spring clamp. Saving the screws, cause we want to put those back in and not allow dirty air into the box. Air box is done. Um, the last piece was this guy right here. So this came off of um, <coughs> the valve. I moved out that connected to these two guys and we're just going to plug that with this bolt right here. Now, let's see. Okay, so while the bike's all tore apart, I'm going to go through and put in my heated grips as well. Uh, put in the left hand and the right hand side ones. Um, since I believe they, they either plug in over here or over here. I still got to find it, but um, They'll basically go through and jam one of these big old plugs into something down in there. Um, but it's going to be way easier to do that. One, you need the tank off to do it, right? Can't, well, yeah, can't do it without everything taken off. Um, so I'm going to go through and put those on right now as well while we're in here this deep. And then there you go. Slides right off. Cool. Okay. Now we slide on the new grip. And then tighten it back up. For the other side, we actually have to take this throttle assembly apart. Got the screws removed. Now, let's see what we got in here. Okay, I see. All right, so that just slides right in there like that. Okay. so. It just fits right, right in there like that. You can see probably those two tabs that are in there. So, go swap this for the fancy boy. Now, we just oops, trace this guy all the way back to the bottom. Now we go through and route the right side. Make sure you follow the exact same routing as the 
bundle your following because you don't want it getting pinched on something when you turn the handlebars. All right, so you gotta join them at the Y right here. That. And then there should be an accessory plug. Yep, there it is with the cap on it. There we go. Ha <laughs> Alright, so we gotta connect to that pain in the ass connector way deep inside of there. So now we'll just tuck this uh, pigtail up in there, right alongside of it. Okay. Do we need the tank off for anything else? I don't think so. What else do we have? All on top. All on top. All on top. All on top. We do need it off for the headers. Okay. But we don't need the air box still off. So we I'm gonna put the air box back on. Okay. Gotta make sure to remember your, your seals. Now, we reinstall this little breather boy. Just gonna do a quick double check to make sure the full rings are still on there. And, Everything's done. Should be. I think we can just put it back now. Okay. Seems good and solid. Everything's out of the way. Tons more room for activities. Time for trumpets. I don't think it makes a difference which is which. We're going with that assumption. Gotta imagine, drain holes go on the bottom. Make sure the gasket's forming a good seal all the way around it. Okay, gaskets look good. Both horns are on. Now, next comes air filter. There we go. SAS is removed, air box is back on, heated grips are installed. Should be working. God, I hope I don't have to pull everything back apart if they're not. Okay, what next? So next, I think we tackle exhaust. She gonna be loud. 